Lead young men astray and spread adultery in society which increases earthquakes. <laughs> Mr. Kazim Siddiqui, prayer leader in Tehran. This poem goes out to the mother goddess, to all women poets, and also to Ms. Diane de Prima and all the poets who opened doors for me. From the earth's womb, all life, including humans, were birthed. Once thought to be the mother goddess, she feeds us. From her body we thrive. Sometimes she comes, shoots up skyward, trembles, shakes, erupts, closer to God than anyone. The fire of her belly created the land we claim, seed, harvest, sell, but really only borrow from her. Who can give who has nothing left to give? She seems bottomless, but she bumps, she belches, she spits like a dragon. Smoke and ash hurl into stratosphere, tectonic plates collide. Scrape like thighs and separate and close, engulfing robes in human flesh, like a mouth ready for a kiss. But instead, she gets a tongue lashing for it, raped, left for dead, gets nothing in return, only gives and we only take. Who should be ashamed? Who should be ashamed? Your mother, daughter, wife, who should be ashamed? Who could the mother rebel against herself? How could she? Or against lovers, to which immoral lovers can never exist, when she herself is full of embellishments, of flourishings, bearing brilliance and birdsong, elaborate mating dances that rival the greatest ballet, sporting iridescent feathers and colors that flock and flutter and fly just to gain the eye, to impress to undress, nothing to cover or conceal. She is always naked, as we were when we came from her. Even the ugly frogs are singing for love. They fight for love, because love is survival, you see. Believe me, it's not against love or attraction that she will rebel. It can't be the moaning cries of ecstasy or the rites of spring that cause San Francisco to break or Mount Etna or Stromboli to butt low. No, you see, it's been centuries before humankind has been so unkind to tarnish and hoard her gifts. God can't rebel against revealing a woman's body to which she has created. And Mother Nature would be the last to say to spring, settle down now with your insatiable need to procreate, to mate. It's we who naysay and point fingers to your own wives, your own mothers. Who truly deviates? Who rapes her crevice of black gold in the night? Who drills like criminals with hearts of compressed coal, exploding toxic bombs and nauseous gas of chemical concoctions with ramifications still unknown upon the houses of your own kind? Radioactive waves of violent, self-serving, arrogant, egotistical, imperialist strides in the name of of progress, but I digress. Let me undress the sultry figure of a woman's body, close to the curves of the earth, made of clay and bread, who brings forth generations from her belly. It is we who foolishly wage war against ourselves that she rebels letting off her steam into the sky, shaking her hips from side to side, shaking us from her skin into light. Wake up, wake up. It's not for the want for love. It's for the want for more than we need, the want for money. But sometimes it's just Mother Nature letting off some stress, trying to undress.